Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim. And thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So this woman who has really been super anti-black and showing her color, telling black people that they are being paid to speak about Democrats. Now, I really wish that they are paying black people. Like, I wish they are paying black content creators to do what they are doing. But for whatever they are doing, it's them doing it. Why? Right? Because they have felt, felt oppression. They know what it feels like to be uh, marginalized. They know what it feels like to to uh, for systemic racism to like you know like you know to be take over. And they are speaking out not because they love they just want to be like you know saying talking politics, but because they are fighting for something. And whatever they are fighting for, I am going to stand with them. I don't care what anybody think, right? No, this lady is saying that she did not say any anti-black this and you all already know that majority of white people, white women, and most people of color are not talking politics on neutral base. They mix it up with race because why? We do not deserve anything good. Anything good coming to black people, you do not deserve it. And they are going around looking for a way to paint black on in creators blue and red, telling them how much did you collect uh, to make this video. Are you people okay right now? Are you people okay? Black people have been working to dismantle the system that has been oppressing them. You all are not in that shoes. You have never felt it. You, felt, felt it. you don't know what it seems like. That's why you all are always in black people's business. Let's get into this video. Okay, so TikTok suspended my ability to comment because I was replying to people too much. So I'm just gonna make a video like conversational style to talk about this. So I removed the ability to tag me in posts or stitch me. So I haven't seen this, but I saw somebody just be like, oh, my whole for you page is Madeline drama today. And I actually kind of found that shocking because I don't think I said or did anything controversial. <laughs> Basically, um, a few days ago, I went viral because I made a post saying that the Democratic Party was offering to pay influencers to make pro-Democrat content. And on my Twitter, I posted screenshots of the company who offered to facilitate this with me, which was called Vocal Media. And if you go on the FEC website, you can see that they accepted funding from a Democrat like super PAC. People then made videos saying that I was lying. When I showed the evidence, they then like changed the tune to be like, well, it wasn't the DNC who offered to pay, which is weird because I never said the DNC, like the Democratic National Committee is a really specific part of the Democratic Party. I didn't say that, I said the Democrats were offering to pay me, the Democratic Party was offering to pay me. That is true. Democrats were the ones trying to pay me to make all these pitches talking about how awesome Democrats were. Also, the main point of my video was that I suspected people were making this paid content and not disclosing that it was paid because after I received these pitches, which I turned it down, I saw um, a lot of people making videos that had similar talking points to the pitches. So I just posted this. I was like, hey, you guys should know that some of this stuff is undisclosed paid advertising. This apparently like upset a lot of people and a lot of Democrats started making videos trying to debunk it. But the way they were debunking it is getting really in the weeds about what exactly it means to say the Democratic Party is offering to pay me. What does that mean? Which is fine. People can debate the semantics of it all they want. I don't think it materially changes anything. Democrats try to pay me to say good things about Democrats. That's what happened. One person, though, in particular made a video where they disingenuously misrepresented what I said and tried to claim that I said that anything good you ever hear about a Democrat is paid media, which was not even the point of my video. It didn't even make sense. Honestly, I was critiquing other leftists on the app who I suspect took the money, switched their tune on who they were gonna vote for this fall and then didn't disclose why. This person made this video misrepresenting everything I said. They only took select screenshots from my Twitter to try to craft a narrative that made no sense. They accused me of having worked with the company, the intermediary company, Vocal Media in the past, which I've never worked with that company. I've, the only content I've actually ever been paid to make is about my hair, which I disclose. It's hair care companies are the only people who've ever paid me for content. And then posted this video and it was really, really weird. And I made a video being like, hey, Hey, this is really weird. You're just making up strange lies about me. Could you not do that? So that is the one thing I guess that people were upset about, but I don't fully understand the critiques of that situation other than that some people assumed it was the DNC specifically and they're actually upset to learn that it went through a third party company that's job is to place political campaigns with influencers called Vocal Media. But again, that seems like such a technicality to be upset about. I don't know. That was really weird. And the other thing people are upset about older, she's still done so much amazing work. She's brilliant. And I recommended everybody read her prison abolition work. Um, so that is what I have. The semantic kind of d discussion about 
what the Democratic Party really represents, and if that includes people hiring a company to say nice things about the Democrats or not, which to me is immediate yes, obvious yes. Me accidentally mispronouncing the name of the most powerful woman in the world and being like, I think bringing that up to derail conversations about her committing ethnic cleansing seems like a bad time, seems maybe not like the most important problem in the room right now. And then me getting mad at a woman for making a video where she literally just made up lies about me and me being like, hey, those are lies. Here is proof that those are lies. And then me also saying, oh, fun fact, Angela Davis actually was a member of the Communist Party of the United States not the Black Panther Party of the United States. Uh, I myself am a member of the Communist Party of the United States. And when I turned 18, I actually registered to vote the Peace and Freedom Party because Angela Davis was a part of that at that time. And that's just because I've followed Angela Davis's career. I don't know. So that's what I have so far that people are really upset about. Um, but maybe I'm missing something. I, I feel like this is the video to really say the specifics of what I've done that you're mad about because I think I'm not getting something and maybe it's just because people can't tag me. So I'm missing videos that explain the context better. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what people are mad about. If not the semantics of what exactly the Democratic Party means when I said the Democratic Party is paying influencers and accidentally mispronouncing a name in one video, to my knowledge, which I corrected in subsequent videos. Although I did point out, I thought the timing was weird and was trying to derail the convo about the whole genocide. I, that's all I've got. Um, but yeah, I'm open. Let me know what's happening. Because in my experience, uh, Democrats are just doing that lib thing where they're really, really horrible to leftists for no discernible reason and then are surprised we don't want to vote with them and we don't like them. It's also possible that people have decided that me refusing to vote for the person who is doing ethnic cleansing is just somehow racist as well. That's totally possible. Despite the fact that I live in California, my vote is worth like a quarter as much as other states and they call the presidential election before our votes are even tallied. Seems weird. I've also seen people like inaccurately claim I was telling people who to vote for, like that never happened. But yeah, I don't know, complaints, hit me with them. Consider this the complaint drop box, let me know. But do know that if you just heard random things, you need to tell me the video and the timestamp and what I said. People just make stuff up all the time on here. I've seen the weirdest lies about me ever said. When he said I had a Palestinian brother-in-law, I don't even have, I'm an only child. <laughs> that's, I do have Palestinian family. They're my cousins. Oh, people also love to say I'm a millionaire. That's a real fun one that people come up with. So since people just say random things, please actually give me the evidence of the thing I said that was upsetting and like make sure it's real, please. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Let's see if it's anything more than this because this is all I can come up with. Okay, so TikTok's are hard to pronounce. Now, I've lived in California my whole life and including the 20 years that she worked here. It's literally the only way I've ever heard her name said. Um, but this isn't really shocking to me that I would mispronounce something. Anybody who listens to my podcast knows I pretty famously mispronounce almost everything. And that's because I my preferred way of engaging with media is to read it rather than to hear it. I just retain info better when I read it. And that leads to me mispronouncing a lot of words. So some people on this video where I was talking about how you know, obviously I thought this was a pretty bad thing for the Democrats to do to run these social media campaigns to try to take attention away from genocide. Um, we're like, uh, you're pronouncing her name wrong. And I really took offense to that. I was like, I don't think this is the time or the place to get upset at the syllable I'm emphasizing of her name. Like we're talking about genocide. It derails the conversation. It feels pretty unserious when someone is talking about ethnic cleansing to be like, hey, actually you're putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable of the name for the person doing the ethnic cleansing. Like for sure, pronounce people's names correctly. That's awesome. Doesn't really seem like a priority when you're talking about the woman with the most political power in the country who is actively doing ethnic cleansing and you were critiquing the ethnic cleansing. Seems like a derail, in my opinion, that's not morally good to do. And people didn't like that, but more so than that, people refused to believe that it was an accident that I didn't pronounce her name correctly the first time. I have no idea why <laughs> they were like, you intentionally did this to disrespect her. And I was like, I mean, don't get it twisted. I do not respect Kam Kamala Harris. I had to correct myself. Um, but this is not an intentional thing. I have far better reasons to not respect her and her name does not factor into them whatsoever. It's mostly her politics I don't agree with as a socialist. From there, I've just seen people generally say I'm anti-Black and racist, but I can't figure out why. And I think it's just maybe that I mispronounced Kamala Harris's name. In one video, people have been making it up that it was like a lot of, no, it was one video recently. It's possible I mispronounced it in the past because that's how I always thought her name was pronounced. Or like 
20 years of my life, including when I lived in San Francisco and she worked in San Francisco. Um, the only other thing that people think is anti-black is that um, the woman who made the video where she misrepresented everything I said and made up a bunch of lies about me, in my comment section, she inaccurately claimed that Angela Davis was part of the Black Panther Party. And I said, you know, that's not accurate. Angela Davis actually was not a member of the Black Panther Party. She was a member of the Communist Party of the United States. And then I did a video where I was like, oh yeah, this is actually kind of a fun bit of leftist trivia. Everybody thinks she was part of the Black Panther Party because she worked adjacent to them so long but she wasn't and the source for that was actually the former chairwoman of the black panther party it was her book that I, I presented as the source for that and i also said you know hey like i grew up loving angela davis a lot of people a lot of black marxists have critiqued her for kind of drifting more right as she got older but she's still done so much amazing work she's brilliant and i recommended everybody read her prison abolition mark um so that is what i have from there, I've just seen people generally say I'm anti-black and racist, but I can't figure out why. Why? Because you do not have a fully formed racial politic, which I would argue is racism in itself, but I'll get to that in a minute. No more. No more. I will not watch another white or non-black person of color pretend, because it's a performance, that the way that they are engaging in political discourse surrounding Kamala Harris's presidential campaign is race neutral. From now on, if anybody else is acting confused, point them to this video. I need everyone who's not black to be immersing themselves in the literature of something called racism denial. And I mean immerse. I need you to steep yourself in it like Lipton brewed iced tea in the summertime. The reason why you and so many other non-black people have been showing y'all ass over the last year, really, the same way non-black people can seem to be so far advanced in other political areas but have zero knowledge of how racism shows up in our movements. It's the same reason why it's so hard to notice yourself breathing. Denial of racism is the respiratory system of racism. Do you understand? The denial of racism is what keeps it alive. And that is the disappointing thing that we have been seeing with you and a lot of other white folks who claim to have the kind of progressive politics that are supposed to save us one day. But let's get specific. In the content that often criticizes Kamala Harris and the Democratic Party in general, race is flattened. It is a concept that is removed from the critique as if it does not exist there. That is why you can get in Elizabeth comment section and say things like, unfortunately, Elizabeth, I do not care. I hate Democrats because you are all deeply evil people who are actively condoning and is the denial of the racial element that is racist. It is the denial of the fact that there are black people that you are talking to in that capital D and that the hatred for those black people that you said you have is okay because they're Democrats. By the way, white folks specifically who thinks that having this kind of deep hatred for the evil people that is Democrats is the same thing as having an interrogation of whiteness. I promise you it's not. But you get to pretend it is when you participate in the racism denial that is flattening race when you're talking about politics. Speaking of racism denial, mispronouncing Kamala Harris's name with whatever excuse you want to give it. I also want to point out another piece of racism, the excuses that you gave and the grace you expected to receive for mispronouncing this black woman's name that you have known all your life because you live in California. Racism, exactly. Because white womanhood means you get the presumption of innocence. You chalk black people who are Democrats up to just being unapologetically deeply evil. Hmm, no nuance there. It's pronouncing Kamala Harris's name and pretending that that is not important in a conversation about ethnic cleansing. Oh my sweet summer child, ethnic cleansing starts with dehumanization. All of these people need to be sent somewhere else starts with all of these people have funny names. And the fact that you cannot make the connection between the two, racism. Yeah. Racism denial is as old as this country itself. It is how the colonists got to perform freedom and liberty while still owning slaves. So I'm not surprised at all that this still exists. No, 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 no. I'm surprised. I'm appalled that I have to explain this basic racial concept to people who seem to have it all together in other categories. What's tea? You cannot win a social movement and be a racist at the same time. I don't know how many times we have to say this. I hope that was helpful, but like what? Do you guys remember how months ago black women were saying that, hey, there's a lot of anti-blackness in a certain movement and like, hey, this is a lot of racism going on from the white left. And we were being like gaslit and attacked and it was like, no, 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 no. Like, you know, you're just terrible and you just support G-side and all of this other stuff. Well, now they're being very bold. They're being very open about it. Um, and they're making statements or taking stances that the far right is latching onto. And they're admitting that they know that this is happening. And they're not saying anything about it. They're not like being like, oh, they're not taking that as a sign of, oh, 
this is a problem. No, they're still ranting about Democrats and liberals and, and whatnot, but you haven't said anything against the far right that agrees with you or is using your rhetoric, which really is that you are using far right rhetoric. And this is what makes them the most untrustworthy and dangerous group of people to me. Remember what I said about the moral superiority without empathy. Right, because a black woman talking about racism that she is seeing and experiencing in left spaces has to be paid by the DNC. Do you think all black people are Democrats or something? Anyway, I don't care. I don't actually care about how any white person identifies on the political spectrum because it doesn't matter. It does not matter. A lot of your core beliefs are rooted in like whiteness and racism and you think that because you have some theory or because you voted for a black guy before that absolves you of everything now all of a sudden you can't be racist but then you literally do racist shit you literally perpetuate racist and harmful messaging and then when black people are pointing this out to you and like hey this is actually harmful oh be quiet you're just getting paid or now i'm stupid but i think you guys keep forgetting that the only reason that this system actually isn't dismantled is because of you and yours and not participating in the system isn't actually helping anyone. Well, except for maybe you, because you know that you're not going to suffer. The people that do suffer look like me or similar to me. Anyone that's not like you. I said it before and I'll say it again. The reason we are where we are is because of you and yours and your counterparts, your racist, bad, right counterparts are more dedicated to keeping the status quo than you are to changing it. I'm not sure if I've done a video where I specifically said white women come here, uh, but I guess it's my turn. Only because, only because I've been observing things for many years, and with this recent situation, I know what's coming next, and I would like to avoid it, and I'm going to give you some tips to make sure that you're not part of it. I want to caution you. I want to caution you as you're hearing about or thinking about a situation where yet another white woman who has claimed herself somebody who's doing the work as an ally. When a situation comes up like that and you hear about it, I want to caution you not to become that person in your efforts to disparage, educate, or talk about that person. The reason why this cycle continues, the reason why this cycle keeps going is because a situation like this will happen um a white person who says they've also been doing the work will come through with their critique or criticism and they will forget they just got here as well and they will end up making the same mistakes but just in a different way and then we start all over again now you might say portia you've told us to collect our own and corral our own yes i have yes i have and if that's your pushback right now then you aren't ready to do it and that's okay that's okay because we're gonna get there and you might meet me with well it just sounds like we're not supposed to say anything at all Again, not ready, and we'll get there. Not ready, we'll get there. If those are your two things, if when you see situations like this happen, and you see the frustration from black women, especially, but black people, indigenous people, other people, the global majority, when you see our frustration, and your first thought is, I don't know what I'm supposed to do, then you're not ready, and that's also okay. When you are not ready, what you can do is direct them to people that are ready, specifically black people, indigenous people, other people, the global majority, even more specifically black women. Then you might say, well, Portia, I don't want to add extra labor. Again, not ready. You are not adding extra labor to somebody who has already decided to do the work. There are people like me, Rebecca, Jamila, Imani, my Imani, Imani, Crutches and Spice, uh, uh, Erica Nicole. There are so many people, names I just can't remember. Black girl, black girl. There are so many black creators on here. Ernest, Mr. Ernest Krem, um, Andre, Dr. So many people, so many people that you can direct people to, you can direct yourself to, to get to a place that you are ready to have these conversations in an intentional way and one way that does not cause more harm to the communities that you say that you're standing up for. Also, also, if you see something that you're not sure about, or if you see a continuation of a conversation that you may not have been privy to in the beginning, do some work yourself to figure out where it comes from. Check the comments, check the creator's page to see if they talked about it before. Just do a little extra work. But when you want all the information spoon fed to you on what to do next, then you are not ready. And that, that's what's adding the extra labor because the information's already there. You just haven't gone to look for it. It's okay to admit that you are not equipped to have the conversations that are necessary to have. It's not okay to have them being unequipped and then creating more harm. That's a problem. I'm not sure if I've done a...
I have so many thoughts on the Madeline Pendleton situation, but all I'm going to say is I am really tired of disingenuous people attaching themselves to the pro-Palestinian movement and then very publicly doing something or saying something problematic and then ascribing that belief to us as Arabs, as Palestinians, as Lebanese. I'm just really tired of non-Arabs weaponizing genocide, weaponizing our deaths to suit their own goals. Like, you can have whatever political beliefs, whatever political agenda you have, but to take your beliefs and ascribe that to the entire movement just makes all of us look bad, and I am so tired of it. This is all I got from this video. And sincerely speaking, these people are becoming very, very annoying these days. I mean, like she she claimed that our black people are being paid to speak up for the Democrats and all that. Sis, pull out there, pull out the receipt. Or if you were offered money also and you rejected it, pull out the receipt. Let's say that you rejected it. Why also did you not collect the money and give it to uh, the Palestinian if they need it? Like, you know, there are also people that need money, right? You would have collected the money and give it to Palestinians. Man, all these things are cap. I am not going to lie to you. These people just are looking for a way to just be anti-black and show their racism and all that. I mean, she kept uh, she kept talking about uh, 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 ethnic cleansing and all that. These people, I really don't understand how they have failed to understand that uh, Kamala Harris is the vice president. Man, why are some people really very dumb, especially when it comes to politics? See, mind you, I am not saying that Kamala Harris may not have gone wrong one way or the other but a lot of people are seeing her as the president like as the acting president see guys she is not the acting president go and hold your president responsible for most of the things that is happening or that has happened in palestine and all that and at the same time i want you people to know that uh, the next person you all are seeing like he is the best man also is supporting the same is supporting the same people you know, I remember videos that I brought here some time ago. He personally said that I, he, oh, I'm sorry. Please pardon these fingers. I'm re removing the, oh my God, I'm so ashamed. It's okay. <laughs> okay, please. All right. So he personally said that uh, he is going to help Israel and make sure that they finish the job very fast. I mean, some people don't even listen to news. That is the problem. I mean, they think they, they have opinion or their opinion matter or they are being sentiment, or they are being over-emotional. Over now, let, let's get this thing straight up, right? When it comes to politics, do not be emotional, because if you are emotional, it means you cannot, you cannot stand it. Mm -mm. There is no emotions. I mean, there is also no permanent friend. There is also no permanent enemy. This is something you have to understand right so they are busy saying she is in ethnic cleansing and all that see guys if it is the other man he is also going to do the same thing and moreover make sure you hold joe biden straight up for most of the things that happen not the that woman is the vice president and there is a limit to what she can do as a president please get this into your school and stop being at her black stop stop showing your right this season right so from the second person that spoke you definitely will see most of the comments palestinians are dropping in the comment section that she is uh, uh she is concurring to to tell you her answer, she said, "What, what did I, what, what did I, uh, what answer black, whatever this thing did I say, and all that." I mean, these people are—they, I don't know, but they act like they are very smart, knowing that uh, directly or indirectly they give themselves away, and we are also able to decode most of the things they say and do without even speaking it. You know, it's really very crazy how all of them. Or just all white. See, I will not stop saying this. If you think that black people are looking for a way things will be better for them, I mean, like they are overdoing it, or maybe they do not care about other people. 
and you all should all get away because right from the onset, you all do not care about anybody. So now that black people got opportunity to look for a way to better themselves or make things easier for themselves, I do not know. But they personally, what they are doing, they feel like it is the right thing for them. And I am not going to argue with them because if you have been oppressed for so long, you definitely will do anything to make sure you get the safety or the security you are looking for. They do not understand it because they have never been oppressed. They do not understand it because they do not they are not in black people's shoes. Black people are the ones in the shoes and they know what it feels like to be in that space. So being anti-black or being anything, I mean, that is people's problem as it stands now because black people are not even going back with whatever decision they have made. And to my great surprise, the last woman that spoke, a white man actually dropped a comment in her, they said the last video actually, uh, on her video saying that how much did you get paid to post this video now this is where the problem is you all are so quick to come out to ask us how much did they get pay us i wish that uh people are also going to pay black people money for wanting to stand with somebody i wish they are actually getting paid because i definitely would be very happy for them because you all have refused to pay reparations so sweet is if they are paying you people for money collect it and keep it in your pocket because you all deserve all that money but unfortunately nobody's paying them because true true you all already know that uh, black people have made a stand on whom they want to vote for and they are absolutely fighting for it like you know tooth and nail and some people think it's a joke because they have not been in like they have not felt anything you know and this is part of the problem this is part of it you all go around and all you you all, all you all want to do is uh, look for a way to paint black people blue and red why because they have chosen see the truth is that as so far i have not seen any black person calling anybody to come and vote for them or come and start with them you all are the ones going around moving. See, feel free to vote whoever you want to vote without involving black people because I do not say black people involving you all. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.